Okay, uh, we are going to start with solving linear equations. Simple topic, you have already seen it in grade nine, so I'm just going to go through it very fast. Now, when you get a linear equation, which is in the form of, let's say, uh, something like 2x plus 5 is equal to 10, you have to solve this equation by finding the value of x. To find x, you have to isolate the variable, OK? If you remember from grade 9, to isolate the variable x, you are going to keep the variable on one side of the equal sign and all the numbers on the other side. The only thing you have to remember is that when you move any item from one side of equal to the other side, you are going to change the sign. That's all you have to know, OK? I'm not going to give you the option of saying, you know, keep the variable either on the right or left, because it's more confusing to you. So in the note, I'm going to say, move the variable to the left of the equal sign. This doesn't mean that you have to have it only on the left. You can have it on the right. So all these operations are going to be the other way around. So at the time being, I'm just saying, you know, move all the terms with the variable to the left side of the equal sign. Now remember, whenever you move a variable, a term, to either side, left or right, you are going to change the sign of the term. Now, in this case, if, you, if I want to keep the variable 2x, which is the term which involves with the variable, on the left, this means that I have to move 5 to the right. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the arrow method. So I'm going to show the arrow on every term. Am I going to move 2x? We said that we want to keep the x variable on where? On left or right? On the left. So are you going to move 2x? No, we are not. Are we going to move 5? So I'm going to put an arrow right beside 5. This means that I'm going to move 5 to the right. Am I going to move 10 to the left? Our convention is to keep all the numbers on the right. So are you going to move 10 to the left? No. So I'm just going to keep 10 there. But remember, whenever you move to the right or left, you change the sign. So 5 becomes what? Negative 5. So this way, I'm going to have 2x. So this means that if I move 5 to the right, it becomes negative. So this equation becomes, when I move the things around, it's going to become 2x is equal to 10 minus 5. Because 5 is positive of, of the, on the left. When you move it to the right, it becomes negative. What is 10 minus 5 now? 5. So I get 2x is equal to 5. Now. I have to isolate x. I cannot keep 2 beside x. So what do I have to do with 2? The last step, I'm going to divide everything by the coefficient of the variable. What is the coefficient here? 2. So I'm going to divide everything by 2. So I'm going to get, what is 2 divided by 2? 1. So I get x is equal to 5 divided by 2. What is 5 divided by 2? 2.5. You're going to do practice in a second. So this is how we do uh, solving linear equations. You saw it in grade 9, grade 10, grade 11, and now again in grade 12. OK, let's do the first example. Go ahead and see if you can solve this one. 3x minus, 15, minus 5 is equal to 16. Go ahead. See if you can solve this one. OK. To solve this one, first, I will decide where I want to keep the variable. I know I'm going to keep it on the left, OK? So are you going to move 3x? No, because it's already on the left. Are we going to move negative 5? Yes, because it doesn't have the variable. So I'm going to move negative 5 to the right. Am I going to move 16 to the left? No, because I'm going to keep the number on the, lo on the right. So I get 3x is equal to when negative 5 goes on the right, then it becomes positive 5. So I get 5 plus 16, because 16 is already positive. 
16 plus 5 is equal to 21. Now, the problem is the 3, which is on the left of the variable, to get rid of the 3, I do the opposite operation, which is division. So I divide both sides by 3. 3 cancels with 3, so I get x is equal to 7. Very simple. Everybody OK? To solve this one again, I'm going to keep the variable on the left and the numbers on the right. So what am I going to do with 2? What do you think I have to do? Move it. So I move 2, <coughs> two to the right. Am I going to move negative 8x? No. Am I going to move 10 to the left? No. So when you move 2 to the right, it becomes negative. So I'm going to get negative 8x is equal to negative 2 plus 10. Remember, 10 is already plus. What is negative 2 plus 10? 8. So negative 8x is equal to 8. Now, how do you get rid of negative 8? Divided by negative x. Excellent. Negative 8 cancels with negative 8. So I get x is equal to, what is 8 divided by negative 8? Negative 1. Negative one. That's it. OK. We said that we want to have the variables on the left. What are you going to do with 5? Are you going to move it or not? Move it to the right. OK, because I don't want numbers constants on the left. But I want 20v to be on the left, so I'm going to move 20v to the left. OK? Are you going to move negative 15 to the left? No, because the numbers are on the right. We want to keep them there. When I move 20v to the left, it becomes what? Negative 20v. You change the sign. If it was negative, it becomes positive. If it's positive, it becomes negative. So it becomes negative 20v is equal to. When you move 5 to the right, it becomes negative 5. Oops. It becomes negative 5. And you have a negative 15 too, so it becomes negative 5 minus 15. Right. What is negative 5 minus 15? Negative 20. If you have problem, use your calculator. It's negative 20 is equal to negative 20v. Now, I have to get rid of what? Negative 20, which is beside v. To get rid of it, you divide it by negative 20. So I'm going to say divide by negative 20 and divide by negative 20. Negative 20 and negative 20, they cross out. So the answer is v is equal to, what is negative 20 divided by negative 20? No, 1. Yeah, it's going to be 1. So the answer is v equal to 1. Very simple. OK, in this example, there is no number constants on the left, so I'm not going to move it to the right. There is only one variable, which is 3x, and I'm not going to move it because I want to keep it on the left. So what I have to do is to get rid of the 3. To get rid of the 3, I'm going to divide both sides by the coefficient, which is 3. 3 crosses out with 3. So I get x is equal to 0 divided by 3. Use your calculator. is going to give you x is equal to 0. That's it. So in this one, there is no number on the left, no constant. So we are not going to move anything. Now I have to get rid of 7. z is divided by 7. The opposite operation to division is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 7. So I'm going to say 7, 7 times z over 7 is equal to 7 times 10. Now, 7 divided by 7 is 1. So I get z is equal to 7 times 10 is 7. seven. To solve this one again, I'm going to keep the variable on the left and all the numbers on the right. Am I going to move 2w? Are you going to move 2? Excellent. No, we are not. Are we going to move 2 to the right? Yes. When you move it, then it becomes negative, negative 2. Excellent. So I'm going to move 2 to the right. So it becomes 2w is equal to negative 2. 
you change a sign. Okay? Now, what is the problem here? I have to get rid of what? What do you have to get rid of here? Um, two, two, w. two W, the two, you have to get rid of. To get rid of, I'm going to uh, divide it by two. This one goes with this one. So from here, I get W is negative two over two is negative one. Now, in the test, you get to negative one. But because it says check here, you also have to check it. To do the check, if you remember from grade nine, we used to use LHS, RHS, which stands for left-hand side, right-hand side. So this is the way we do it. I draw a line here. And I write the equation, the left side of the equal sign, on the left side. So I write 2w plus 2 here. And then the right side, which is just a number 0 here. OK? Now I'm going to substitute the value of w back in the left and right. In the left, I substitute w here to be negative 1. So I get 2 times negative 1 plus 2. Now, you may notice I use bracket here. For the sake of bed mass, my advice to you, use bracket. Otherwise, your answer is going to be incorrect. So, but this side, on the right-hand side, it's only number 0. So nothing is going to be changed with w equal negative 1. So I'm just going to write 0. There is no w on the right. Now I'm going to simplify the left. What is 2 times negative 1? Negative, negative 2 plus 2. And negative 2 plus 2 is going to give you 0. And you can see that left and right are equal, so you say my solution is correct. Very simple. And this is how you check it. Now, to solve this one, again, as usual, we decide to have the variable on the left. So negative w is not going to be moved. But 4 is going to be moved to the right. So I have an arrow over 4, and negative 2 is not going to be moved to the left because all the constants are going to stay on the right. When 4 moves to the right, it becomes negative 4. So I get negative w is negative 4 minus 2. Remember, 4 goes to the right. The sign changes. Now, what is negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. So I get negative w is equal to negative 6. Now, I have to get rid of the coefficient of w. In this case, the coefficient is negative 1. There is a negative 1. There is this 1 is over there. So you have to divide both sides by negative 1. So I divide both sides by negative 1. Negative 1 over negative 1 cross out. So you get w is negative 6 over negative 1 is going to be 6. So to check, again, I'm going to draw my table here. On the left, I'm going to have negative w plus 4. And on the right, I only have negative 2, so I write it right here. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to substitute 6 back in the left and also in the right and simplify. So I'm going to get negative open bracket again. I told you use bracket for bed mass. My answer was w equal to 6, so I'm just going to put 6 here, plus 4. But negative 2 doesn't have any w. So I'm not going to change anything about negative 2. Negative 2 stays as negative 2. Now, negative times 6 gives me negative 6, plus 4. Negative 6 plus 4 is going to give you negative 2. So you can see that negative 2 and negative 2 are equal, so your solution is correct. How do you solve this one is very simple. Again, grade 9. If you remember, you have to expand the left side because 2 is outside the bracket. How do you expand it? You have to multiply 2 by every term inside the bracket. The way that I showed is with the arrows. So you have to multiply 2 by t. You get 2t. Then you multiply 2 by negative 2. You get and by, by negative 1, you get negative 2 is equal to 4. Now you have a simple equation that you did before. We are going to decide what to be moved. 
2t is not going to be moved, but negative 2 is going to be moved to the right, so it becomes positive 2. So I get 2t is equal to 4 plus 2, but 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. To get rid of the 2, I'm going to do the opposite operation, which is division. Divide by 2, so I get 2 over 2. It crosses out, so I get t is equal to... 6 divided by 2 gives you 3. So the answer is 3. Now, again, you can also check it, you know, without doing that table. If t is 3, I put 3 back in this equation. 2t minus 2 is equal to 4. What is t? 2 times 3 is what? What is 2 times 3? 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. So 4 is equal to 4, so everything is correct. OK, to solve this one, I can see that the right-hand side, we are having a number, negative 4, multiplied by a bracket. So I have to expand the right-hand side. To expand it, I'm going to have negative 4 multiplied by every term inside the bracket. So the left-hand side is not not going to change. It's going to stay as 24a minus 22 is equal to negative 4 times 1 gives me negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 6a. Negative times negative gives you positive. 4 times 6 gives you 24. So it's going to be 24a. Now it's going to be the same story. I want to keep all the variables on the left, all the numbers on the right. So I'm not going to move 24a because it's already on the left. Negative 22 is not supposed to be on the left. It's supposed to be on the right. So I'm going to move it to the right. Negative 4 is already on the right. We keep it on the right. But 24a is not supposed to be on the right. It's supposed to be on the left. So I'm going to move it to the left. So I'm going to have 24a. When 24a moves to the left, it becomes negative 24a. And negative 22, when it moves to the right, it becomes 22. And then negative 4, which is here, stays as negative 4. Now, what is 24a minus 24a? Zero. Excellent. So you get zero is equal to, what is 22 minus 4? 18. 18. <clears throat> now, is there anything wrong with this? The last statement I have, zero equal to 18. Is there anything wrong with it? Yes, sir. Oh, no, no, that's OK. I mean, it's not the variable. It's the equality. Is 0 equal to 18? Is 0 equal to 18? Is it right? Yeah. 0 is equal to 18? Shouldn't it be 8 equals 18? No, no, but you just saw 24a minus 24a is 0, right? 0a, let's say. But 0a is 0. So everything is OK. 0 is equal to 18. Is there anything wrong with this? Equality. Zero should be zero. Because zero can't be equal to 18. So this means that this, the original equation, does not have any answer. This means that there is no A that can satisfy that equation. Everyone understood? You get to an answer like this one, this means that there is no solution. Because A, they cancel each other. Everybody understood? To solve this one, I have two brackets on the left, which I have to expand. The first one has a negative 1 behind it. So I'm going to multiply negative 1 by every term inside. And from on the second one, I have a negative 6, which is going to be multiplied by every term. Now, negative 1 times 1 gives me negative 1. Negative 1 times 7x gives me negative 7x. 
negative 6 times negative 7 gives you plus 42. And negative 6 times negative x gives you plus 6x is equal to 36. <coughs> now you are back to simple linear equation, which we said we're going to keep the variable on the left and the numbers on the right. Negative 1 is a number which is not supposed to be on the left, so I'm going to move it to the right. Negative 7x is okay. Leave him there. 42, no. Nope. We're going to keep it on the right, so I'm going to move it to the right. And plus 6 is okay. Leave him on the left. So this way, I'm going to have negative 7x. I'm not going to move. And plus 6x, I'm not going to move, is equal to 36. But negative 1 on the left is moved to the right, so it becomes plus 1. And 42 moved to the right becomes negative 42. Now, negative 7x plus x, 6x gives you negative x or negative 1x, if you feel comfortable with negative 1. So negative 1x is equal to 36 plus 1 is 37. 37 minus 42 is negative 5. Now, the problem is the coefficient of x on the left, which you can see is negative 1. So I'm going to divide by negative 1 both sides. Negative 1 crosses out with negative 1, so I get x is equal to negative 5 divided by negative 1 is going to be 5. So the answer is x equal to 5. Okay, to isolate y, as I said, we are going to treat x as a constant, as a number. So this means that I am going to move x to the right 2y, again, y is a variable, so I keep it on the left. And negative 15 is already on the right, so I'm not going to move it. So I'm going to have 2y is equal to negative 15 plus x. Because remember, when you move negative x, it becomes opposite sign, which is x, plus x. Now, the only problem is 2 here. So I'm going to divide every term by 2 here every term by 2, so 2 crosses out by 2, so I get y is equal to, now if you use your calculator, negative 15 over 2 is negative 7.5 plus, now remember that the coefficient of x is 1, so it's 1 over 2 times x, what is 1 over 2? 0 0.5, so I get 0 0.5x, now if you leave it like this, after you simplify, meaning if you leave it as y is equal negative 15 over 2 plus x over 2, you are correct too. You don't need to change it you know, to decimal. So this is how you can isolate y now. So y is equal negative 15 over 2 plus x over 2. So for this one, again, because I want to isolate for y, this means that x is a constant or a number. So I'm going to move 5x to the right. But 2y is the variable, so I'm going to keep it on the left. And negative 10 is also on the right, so I'm not going to move it. So I'm going to get 2y is equal to 5 go, 5x five goes to the right, becomes negative 5x, negative 10. Then y has a coefficient of 2, so I'm going to divide every term by 2. This 2 goes with this 2, so I get y is negative 5x over 2 minus 10 over 2. You can use a calculator, and you can you know, do, and you will get negative 5. And that's it. So this is the answer. And we are set. <laughs>